A total eclipse of the sun occurs Sunday, but don't be so quick to take out your special viewing glasses. If you have to be right in that shadow in order to witness a total solar eclipse, the one that's going to happen on Sunday is going to be um, in, the, in the South Pacific Ocean, covering a couple of islands, including Easter Island, before it hits the tip of uh, South America. Astronomers are eagerly awaiting the event, which gives them the opportunity to study the sun's corona without resorting to launching space probes. The very bright solar disk is so bright that we can't see it unless it's blocked out. And the, the corona actually extends way, way out into space. And um, we can see what we call coronal mass ejections, which are these huge, massive, massive amounts of material being blown away from the sun at millions of miles an hour. And so these storms um, actually affect what we call space weather and can be directed at the Earth and interact with the Earth's magnetosphere. The Solar Dynamics Observatory is one probe exploring the effects of solar weather. Launched in January, scientists say it's providing unprecedented views of the sun and helping them to pinpoint the origins of solar storms. Pinpointing the optimal place to watch the solar eclipse will not be so easy. The spectacle begins at sunrise some 1,200 miles northeast of New Zealand. The time of greatest eclipse will occur over open water, lasting 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.